Good morning, welcome to a nice sunny day here in Plymouth. Uh, we're quite excited today because we're going out on the new Marlin 895. It's been a couple of years since it's uh, launched at Dusseldorf Boat Show. Obviously a lot's happened since then, we've had COVID-19. Um, but finally we've managed to get the boat uh, available for us to do some drone footage on it. And mainly to demonstrate the Helm Master from Yamaha docking system with a joystick. So um, let's jump on board and uh, see how she performs. Okay. Yeah, we're all good. So there's a speed limit in there, obviously, so we're going to keep the speed down to a slow speed. Level three gives us about four knots. So we're just coming out into Plymouth Sound. We've just come out of uh, Queen Anne's Battery where the boat's kept um, using the joystick. Um, we've gone into neutral. Engage the uh, gears and now we're uh, heading out into Plymouth Sound. Um, what we're going to do is a bit of a test drive on it. Uh, the steering is very, very light because it uses the uh, direct drive system from Yamaha. So we've actually removed the hydraulic steering on this one and put on electric rams onto each engine, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so it's very, very responsive. And you can tighten this up as well so you can make it um, get more friction to the steering and you can have more turns or less turns in the steering wheel to adjust it so you can set up for your own preference. Um, this Helm Master system here also has uh, a set point so you can basically press this button here and it holds the boat in its position. Um, you've also got fish point and drift point which we'll come on to later. Um, you've also got auto helm included so this package includes all these items um, which is good value for money when you're just off the joystick because it holds all that extras included in the, uh, in the item. Uh, it's also got an automatic trim function on it as well. 
uh, and this joystick here can be moved into different positions so for instance you could have it out the back as well so you'd have a second helm position outside for fishing or drifting um, especially if you're fishing over a wreck or something you've got the option of uh, adjusting the, the boat from out the back so what we'll do now is just head to Jenny Cliff Bay um, and take some more footage right so Nick's going to park his boat I might point out it is his boat um, back on the marina here in QAB just using the joystick so we're now in the six knot area anyway so he's gone into the joystick mode um, and we shall be docking shortly at QAB just on the joystick nothing else just going to see what top speed we can get on a is 5.3, getting just shy of 40 knots. Oh. Literally just under 40 knots, which is pretty impressive. So we've got engine trim on the front here. Yeah. Well, it's actually great to, uh, at the moment you can trim the engines on this, up and down on these. You've also got, um, on here, you've got a speed control sensor. So when you're in uh, like auto or you're using any of the course holds or anything like that, and you're trolling, you can use this to go up five knots increments up and down. Lovely. Can't be better, Mike. Through that next, just pointing something out that I didn't know about. <laughs> okay, so when the boat's in the neutral, and obviously when you're in gear and you've got twin engines, you always feather in both engines with the palm of your hand. So, an advantage of this um, helm station is to use put into neutral, hit single le lever, and then basically you can drop that one out of the way, and then both engines will work in tune off of one lever, and that allows you to have. Single hand, you know, throttle control, burning equal measures of RPM on both engines without having to feather it on your, on your hand. That's genius. I love it. So, Nick's just engaged the autopilot on course hold up here. So, he's picked a speed and a direction and just press the button and now the boat will hold itself in that position automatically. See the engines there working hard to keep the boat straight. So Nick here is going to demonstrate the joystick. We're out here in the bay. We're just going to do a bit of sideways and forwards and backwards on just the joystick. And what I'll do is I'll go down the back and look at the, um, the engines as they move. So we just select, select a joystick, we had to put into neutral, select a joystick, um, and away we go. So I'm going to twist the boat around. She's spinning her own axis, so the engines here are going, one's going forward, one's going back to create the spin. Try a bit of just sideways if we could just head to starboard. So you've got the throttle just hard over. When you're docking the boat, what you can do is the bow starts spinning on the stern, you can just twist it at the same time to bring the bow round or the stern round while still got the sideways thrust. As we look sideways, the engines are working hard now. They're pointing in on each other, giving sideways thrust, and there's the thrust going out the side here. So that's pushing the boat in this direction. We come up the bow here, we can have a good look and see all that thrust is coming out of those twin engines. We've moved from this point over here to where we are right now here. So if you imagine in a dock, that's quite a handy feature to have. And then if you just want to drive it on the joystick, we'll just push it forward and if it goes, you can choose your speed 
with this plus and minus sign just here. So you can troll along at slow speeds or faster speeds. And you can still steer it whilst moving along just by twisting the joystick. I'll have a quick look at the back as he does that. You can hear that electric ram moving. and the sunroof open. But the acceleration is rapid. And straight away we're doing 20 knots. I can't go too fast because the drone won't be able to keep up with us, but it's a beautiful day. Very little swell. got really good vision all the way around it and you've still got a massive side door it's very wide and you've still got the feeling of being in an open boat even though you're enclosed in this cabin and this boat also comes in an offshore version uh, so it's the bigger tanks um, and it has two double cabins in it so really all the upside of the 895 very fisher cruiser but in a boat that has deep walk around decks and large cockpit front and back it's a really really social boat So what we've done now is hit the stay point and the boat's going to hold us, no one at the helm, in position near this mark here. And as you can see, there's no one at the helm and the engines are doing all the work to hold it in position at this buoy right here. It's a great opportunity to look at the engines moving independently of each other. See the direct drive systems here. It's an electric ram basically holding us. As you can see, there's no one actually at the helm. Boat's driving itself, incredible bit of kit. It's doing a pretty good job of holding us here as well.
our level three's just got about enough thrust. So I can sit here and do nothing, basically, and let you guys do all the work? Yeah. Excellent. Got Man Friday over there, do all the lines and... Uh, Man Friday! <laughs> do all the fenders. <laughs> I'll just sit here in this nice comfy seat. He's very kind to me. Tuesday. <laughs> so, <laughs> so down here we've got all the cabins. I'll have a quick little look at it. Well, Skipper's driving. So all this stuff's in here. This is his rear cabin. You've got two double berths in there. There's lots of light in this one. And then in here... Is the other double berth getting these lovely side lights so you can see the sea coming through in there nice and light and airy and in here we've got the heads it's got hot water drain here he's got heating on his as well in fact, there isn't many whistles and bells that nick hasn't got on it fridge this creates another berth paddleboard rack sunroof radar searchlight VHF, 12 inch plotter, stereo, and a gas cooker. Right, excellent. No pressure, Nick. So, as you can see, the berths here are pretty tight down at Queen Anne's Battery. Not a lot of room for making mistakes. I trust your ability on there. I'm going to have a look outside at the docking procedure. So there's a nice shallow, uh, low tide berth here, just to put the pressure on him. I'm just going to pop into this one just here. So we've got lots of sideway thrust going on here. Engines are making lots of noise, um, but the boat's going very, very slowly alongside here. There we are. Nice one, Skip. <laughs>